If you've been asked to perform a SOC 1 audit, this is coming from one of your clients that is probably a publicly traded or financial institution or government entity, and they are going through their own financial audit. And the rules that they must follow require them to evaluate the controls of their service organizations who could potentially affect their financial reporting. Let's think of a payroll processor or a payment processor or a benefit administrator. Someone who's performing a service for them that produces a report that the organization has to rely upon in order to adjust or alter their financial reporting. Those things are very important to them because there are fines involved, there are people held responsible. And so if you are providing services to an organization like that, a SOC 1 audit is your audit that tests any controls that potentially relate to that internal control over financial reporting. And so the testing that's performed uh, is only on the controls that are relevant. You have to perform a risk assessment to evaluate what those areas are that hold the highest risk and what controls you should put in place. And those things are tested by an independent third-party auditor like Kirkpatrick Price who will issue a report that you will hand to your customer that they will utilize during their audit. There's a lot of communication that goes on between your organization and your client's audit firm. And so it's important to have a partner like us who will be at that table with you and have communication with your customer's auditors. Many times that auditor to auditor communication is what's really important to satisfy their needs in the testing of controls. If you have any questions about the SOC 1 audit process, please contact us today. Thank <music> you.